This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a multi lock MT5 Plus mortise cylinder. I've been working on these locks for a little while now, and I'm reaching the point at which I have some confidence that I can open these locks with regularity, so I figure it's about time we get one of them on video. The first thing I do when picking one of these locks is I take a normal hook like this, I place it in in this direction and I press all of the sliders to the far right. Make sure I get them all. Okay, I think we got them all over. Then we put our tension wrench in and the first thing I go for is the alpha spring. On about, I don't know, 75% of these MT5 pluses I've tried, the first thing to bind up is that alpha spring. So let's go check it out. It's right in the center of the keyway in the far back. And there we go. Got a nice fat click out of him. Okay, let's start working on the five pin in pin chambers now. They're a lot smaller than what you find in a lot of other uh, multi locks. So they do require a great deal of precision using pretty stout tension. Okay, we're on number one. Okay, nice click out of him. Two, working on the outer pins, click out of him. Okay, three, got a little click there. He must be a pretty low cut. Nothing on four. And five, lifting him up. Okay, got a nice click out of five. Back to one. Nothing there. Two. Nothing on three. Okay, four's binding nicely now. Got a click out of him. I think I felt a little movement on the core. Okay, back to one. Nothing there. Two. Three, four, okay, click out of five. I think a little bit more movement on the core. One, two, three. I'm looking inner and outer pins now. Just got a little click on the inner pin on three. Inner pin on four, got a nice stout click there and a sharp click, which tends to mean that we are resting on the sidebar now. So let me start working on the sidebar sliders. And the way I do that is I stick this hook in upside down. I place it next to the slider and then I turn clockwise and it pushes the slider over. Okay, so we're on the first one now. Releasing tension and turning. He's still bound up pretty good. Getting a second click out of him, or at least trying to. Okay. Okay, I got some movement on him now. I'm happy with where he is on the second slider. Okay, movement, movement on him, and I actually felt some movement on the core, which is always a good sign that you've got him in the right position. Okay, oh, little click out of three right off the bat. I think I feel movement, I'm not sure. I'll come back to him if I do. Four. Okay, I got a little movement on him. Five. Oh, he's bound up tight. Okay, I think he's moving now. Let's go back to one. Feels good. Two. Okay, another click out of him. Three. Okay, click there. 
nothing on four or five. Let me see if I get anything else out of the, the normal pins now. Nothing on one, two. Okay, feels like the inner on three might be bound up. Okay, got to click out of him. Click out of four, and a lot of movement on the core. Let me uh, start looking for inner driver pins now. Got one on two, one on three, one on four. One on five, and we opened her up. Okay. So clearly not opening as fast for me as the other multi-locks, but these are really complex locks. I'm happy just to be able to get them open at all. Okay, let's, uh, let's take this guy apart and I'll show you what's inside. Okay. First thing we need to do is get these screws off the back for, to get the cam off the back of the lock. we're in a, actually a pretty good position just to take that guy straight out. And when I do that, I have to be careful of pins in the top, ball bearings in the bottom, and slider and a sidebar in the bottom. So it's quite a lot to make sure doesn't drop out of this lock. Got a problem right away. Okay, I just dropped the alpha spring out the back, and I think I dropped one of our driver pins into some place it doesn't belong. But I think we'll be able to take care of that. Let me push him back up. And rotate this lock just a little bit more so that doesn't become an issue when we open her up. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, I dropped a ball bearing out. That was drill protection. I'm gonna put that in slot eight. First thing I'm gonna do is take out this sidebar in the bottom. Put that in slot seven. Got a couple of springs there. Let's take them out so we don't lose them. Okay, and then I think we're gonna drop the key pins out. Okay. One. Three, four, five, and uh -oh, our alpha spring mechanism. There we go, got him out. I'll take the sliders out in just a moment after I arrange all of these key pins. Probably gonna take longer to gut than it was was to pick this thing. 
but that's what you get on these more complex locks, I guess. Okay, next let's take the driver pins out. Okay, standard outer on one and spooled inner. I think that's what we're going to find in every single chamber because that's what they put in the MT5s. And let me take out, there's a little piece of drill protection right here, a little half moon. And let's put that in slot 8. Okay. Now it's time to take the sliders out. And I'm just going to put the sliders in slots 1 through 5, right above the normal pins. Okay, it's the best way to get these things out. Maybe we can pull them out with a Okay, I'm going to set them up so you can see the false gates and the true gate. At least I'm going to try to do that. Maybe I can take them out the same way I picked them. There we go. That seems to work nicely. And I just realized I put these in exactly backwards. So let me flip them all around now. This one ought to be here. Jeez, what a pain in the butt it is. Okay, I think we have got everything out. I'll show you lots and lots of drill protection that we have in this lock. Some in the core, some I put down here in the, in the tray, and even more in the lock body there. Okay, let's start with our close-ups now. Okay, we're going to start with the pins. You can see all of the key pins are standard, both inner and outer. And the MT5 driver pins all have standard outers and spooled inners that go with the countermilled outer key pins. Then right above those key pins, we have all of our sliders. And you can see the false gates and the true gates in each of those sliders. Then in slot 6, we have the alpha spring mechanism. In slot 7, we have our sidebar. And in slot 8, you can see some drill protection for the core. Moving over to that core, you can see that we have in the chambers counter milling in each of the five chambers. We have drill protection protecting the pin stacks and more drill protection above and below the keyway. Then this little hole right in the side of the keyway takes the ball bearing you see in slot 8. That's to keep someone from drilling right down the side and cutting the core in half. And you can see this is where our sidebar goes in. There's more drill protection in front of the sidebar. And here's our holes for all of our sliders. Moving over to the lock body itself. If we look right down there, you can see there are three hardened inserts guarding the pin stack. So in short, we have a ton of drill protection in this lock. Anyone trying to put a drill into this is going to be wasting a lot of tools. 
In any case, that's all I have for you on this Multilock MT5 Plus mortise cylinder. Hopefully I'll be bringing some more of these to you soon as I get a little bit more confident with them. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.